Hey y'all, welcome back to Ohi DIY. Last video, John and I finally got to sleeping in our bed again. That alone makes me so happy. Today I'll show you my design process for figuring out our master closet and we'll be taking down more of the wall tile in the bathroom. Let's get to it. As you saw in our last video, John and I were sharing a tiny closet. Though that was common for older homes, obviously it's not as functional nowadays. Um, people do have more clothes and we don't really have that much but still that was a very, very small closet for all of mine and his clothes. And our shoes are just like in the front office closet. Our nice clothes are in our guest bedroom closet. Everything is just everywhere. And I'm somebody who, as my mother knows, goes a little crazy when <laughs> things are not all together or all in one place. If a lot of things are in different places and there's chaos, chaos I, I don't do well with that. So. This renovation has definitely been a test of patience for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and yes, this is a new scenery. I am having a mommy-daughter weekend with my lovely mother, um, and we're doing, well, she's doing fun little projects for their house, but their house is just gorgeous. Yeah, it's just so fun being here with mommy. <laughs> mommy dearest. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you probably won't see her unless she decides to make herself shown. <laughs> So in my design process for this closet, my first step was to look at Pinterest to see what inspiration I could find. I almost always start my search with something basic like master closet design. I'm dreaming big here and hoping we can have a walk-in closet, so I'm gonna add that there too. There are so many cute ideas on here. What I'm leaning towards are these finished closets with the high upper storage and beautiful trim. I was going for, I'm going for a more classic design and vibe, so I might check that out, section out later. I love that Pinterest has the different sections to where you can kind of go towards more whatever style you're leaning towards. This first one is so cute and I'm loving the overall look. I think our closet would probably be half the size of that. It would probably go to the ottoman, but again, dreaming big here. And though I want a cute closet situation, I do think it's more important now to just have a closet and get things done that way. And then we can do a closet makeover later where we make it all cute and pretty. Some of these design inspirations though are definitely what I am leaning towards. I wanna to make sure we have an adequate amount of hanging space, but also these open shelves that we can fold our clothes on and then, but in the end, I would like it to look finished like this. With the crown molding on the ceilings, maybe some painted shelves and some covered doors that can slide back when you don't need things covered. I think that would be so luxurious and so pretty. So after finding all of your inspiration of things that you would love, it's definitely time to write down exactly what all clothing you have and what you would like in your closet and trying to find a space for that. This was my list I had made on what all we would need to hang and the general layout for the closet. So you'd be walking into the closet here. We do need space for a hamper, but doing drawers or shelves or hanging things all along this area is the configuration I was thinking. It would be a little bit more open whenever you walk in first. I then measured out each part of the room. I wanted to make sure that I had the exact dimensions of all of the walls and I knew exactly how far the closet could come before it would be too narrow of an entrance. I then drew it all out on graph paper, making sure that I had pretty accurate dimensions on the paper. How I did that, I just used however many feet it was, I would divide it by two. So then every two squares was one foot. So if I had 18 squares, that would be for a nine foot wall. Here is the finished product on graph paper along with my 3D model on how the master suite renovation will look. <laughs> Good morning. Ned. So after all of that work and deciding that layout and measuring everything, we actually went with a, a totally different layout for the closet. Both of us were Slightly annoyed by the thought of walking into our bedroom and seeing a closet immediately. We felt like it would feel like it was much smaller and closed off. We're gonna actually end up doing it where, and it goes on the west wall where the bed is right now. And with that, we can have a longer wall for that. And we're gonna try to use the bathroom and use that to make an entrance into the closet from the bathroom instead of from the bedroom. 
we would keep it to where whenever you walk in the door, you would turn to the like to the right would be that entrance to the bathroom. So it's kind of like how the entrance is with our current bathroom, but that's exactly where the doorway would be. We just kind of probably shifted a little bit since the vanity would be on the closest wall to the entrance. Um, but then you would walk through and you wouldn't have an entrance to the closet from the bedroom. It would just be from the bathroom. That's kind of more convenient anyways, because if you're showering or getting ready or things like that, if the closet's just right there, then if we have different schedules where I'm working at a different time than he is, then I can just close that bathroom door and I can get ready completely without having to turn all the lights on in the bedroom like we're having to do right now and like we've had to do. We would still be able to keep our bed in the same, um, not like the same place, but the same orientation, I guess. There you go. Yeah, there you That's go. That's a good word. <laughs> the same orientation. But then we would have a longer area for the closet and it wouldn't look like you're walking straight into a wall. If our closet has the right storage in it, we only need enough room for our bed, two nightstands, and then the TV in front of our bed. So creating a floor plan, my biggest question is how big can I make this? <laughs> what I was looking at when I was designing the closet space was how wide I would need to make the areas for like hanging clothes. And I think typically hangers are about 18 inches wide. So definitely accommodating for that. But width wise, if there were 18 inches needed for like hanging clothing on the left side and the right side, then that's 36 inches right there. So that's at least three feet it would need to be just for that. And we need walking space in the middle, plus a little extra for extra room on the side of those hangers because some clothes kind of stick out a little bit more than others. From there, deciding where you can put that and what type of storage would be needed for that type of clothing. Whether that's a long hanging area, they have medium hanging areas, short hanging areas, um, area for shoes, near shelving for if you want to fold jeans or like leggings or sweaters or things like that. Once you've done all of that, it would be, it's, it, I found it helpful to draw every single wall in the master closet to decide how you would want that storage. I tried to draw out each wall. So this would be walking in, there would be that hamper area. And then I did add a mirror area here. I don't think that's practical. John is not a fan of having a mirror in the closet. There is a mirror already in the bathroom, which I understand. But as a girl, it's kind of fun thinking about a little getting ready area for my jewelry. But he is right. There's going to be a big enough mirror in the bathroom that's right there. So yeah, there you go, John. I conceded. Um, so we could do more open shelving over here to have more clothing there. These are just examples of what I was thinking could go up here, but obviously we could do whatever we wanted up there. So we could do bins or put purses up there. I did want to do some drawers in the closet or we could do like sliding baskets. Nobody wants to reach down below for their everyday stuff. And we're tall. It's just, it's not practical. All right, we could probably put like tall boots under there or, or other storage things. This would be going into the wall when you first straight walk in, you would see this wall over here. I was thinking this could be the long hanging area where we could hang my dresses or jumpers or his nice clothes, things like that. And then it would tuck in all the way back there so you could slide and put stuff back there all the way too. Right here, this would be when you first walk in. So that hamper would be kind of right here, but this is just a side view of these shelves. So that would be where those drawers would be, but we could do shoe racks down here and just making sure that there's enough room for that long hanging clothes. Our ceilings are about eight and a half feet we would make it to where it's high enough if there is a rack that's a little bit higher but i want to make sure that things aren't dragging which is kind of my pet peeve i don't like them to drag on the floor we don't need to do this but if we could put suitcases up at the top out of the way it would be a nice storage area then we wouldn't have to go all the way to the basement to get our suitcases which is kind of annoying um and then again this rack would continue over to the side over here so we could hang and tuck things further things over there this is the west wall there are two windows there currently and this is where our bed is this we could do hanging racks where two for each of us because we're married I am reserved the right to take more later though. But again, having the upper storage and then maybe doing some shelving to the side over here. I honestly don't think we have enough clothes to need two hanging things for each of us. Even doing, depending on how wide it is, we could do just a 
three quarters of that and then doing like open shelving over here but we could do shoes as well we could make an area for that over here but also there would be all this room down here that you could just put shoes below the hanging clothes that are there then we're back to the entrance to the bathroom this is where you would come in and then you would walk in this way there would be the hamper here and the shelving here but this is just like a straight on view but we could do more open shelving here we could have shoes there as well and this is not exactly what we'll end up with but just trying to picture what all we would need and what types of storage we could do and things like that oh my gosh Wrigley's outside just rolling in on the, the concrete uh, he's probably rolling in a bug ew he's such a derp what are you doing Wrigley he's such a dork being a dog oh and Ellie's going over now to where he was rolling Ellie's like is that good stinky stuff they're like yeah I love Can nature we roll in that together they're like, I love smelling like an outdoor dog at the ranch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now that we have the master suite layout changed and mostly planned, we can continue to demo the master bathroom. Since we're waiting on the window to come in, if we can finish demoing the walls and floors this week and next, we should be ready to install it when it arrives. Once we have everything gutted, we will be able to see exactly how large the shower can be and where we can have the new door from the bathroom to the master closet. Suit up. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we need to break up all the tile around here. So we're gonna get to doing that and yeah, hopefully get it done in a short amount of time and before trash day comes. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I think I get some shards out of my ears. <laughs> We wanted to make sure that we could give you guys the best footage of this wall demo and one of our tripods broke. All we have is this little tripod here. So we came up with a solution that might be pretty redneck genius. What are we going to do, John? We're going to make a place to hold it. <laughs> We're going to make a place to hold it. So I'm going to leave that to John's expertise here. We're going to get this shot from over here, so I hope you like it. And since it's way more satisfying to see a finished demo product, tune in next week for the full wall tile removal video and whatever other craziness we encounter. For now, enjoy how dirty I look after demoing and watch till the end to see Ned's amazing mayfly hunting abilities. See you next week, Oklahomies. My hair is now shaved blonder from all the dust and I don't need dry shampoo in the morning. Do you know what it is? No. Come try to find it with me. Ned, it's your turn.